So remember the one time when you guys decided to do this topic that I wasn't really a huge fan of and then I was the only one that made a video that week? Right. But you all had fairly legitimate excuses because everyone seemed to be having a terrible week last week. And that's no good. I don't like that at all. My work day ended on kind of a shit note and as such I'm in a shit mood. And so in light of all of this downerness. I think we should talk about things that we do to cheer ourselves up. I want you to tell me what the things that you do that make you feel better when you are... I worded that wrong. What are the things that you do to make you... I'm very tired. Thinking has become very difficult for me. My first like emotional breakdown as a college freshman was solved by watching a Veronica Mars marathon. I'm pretty sure my roommate was really, really worried about me because I barely left my bed for like three days straight. I was still going to class, but I called in sick to my internship and I remember having this giant pile of laundry that I had done but didn't put away and like it was just sort of sitting on my bed with me where I was not leaving. It was not a good moment for me. But subsequently Veronica Mars became kind of a staple of my college pick-me-up efforts and just television in general. I don't really watch a lot of TV, but when my brain is sad that is how I solve that problem. Speaking of I've been watching Parks and Rec slowly but surely. I'm somewhere near the beginning of season two right now, but since I am currently experiencing the brain sads and have some thesis stuff to do this week, I will definitely make some progress on that. That. I am also a very big fan of stress baking. Pretty sure I've covered that on this channel multiple times. The other day I was going through my Flickr albums of Europe stuff. I've started looking at pictures of my friends on Facebook who are still in Paris slash all of my pictures from the past year as this like masochistic nostalgia exercise. Like it only makes me sad. I know it's gonna make me sad and yet I keep doing it. And you know where I was going with that is that I have a like, ridiculous amount of pictures of baked goods. Like I, this is how I gained so much weight in Paris. All I did was bake apparently. And eat macaroons. Well, but right, this is supposed to be a video about things that make us happy and I'm talking about sad, brain sad things. Right, so television. <sighs> with the laughs, or d Veronica Mars does, is, you know, less of the laughs, it's just the television. The television decreases the brain sads. Also the baking, the baking of sugary things reduces the brain sads. And if all else fails, I call my mom. That's like when things are really bad. Like when the brain sads are, you like, out of control. You gotta call mom and have her fix the brain sads. Yep, I'm 24 years old and I still need my mommy to kiss my brain sads, boo boo. This video doesn't make sense. I don't remember the last time that I uploaded a video to the Expat Chronicles that did make sense. So that is a thing that I do. And I am already happier than I was when I started recording this video. So this is also a thing that I do to reduce the brain sads. Driving is also a big brain sads reducer for me. That's more like brain stress like when my whole world feels like it's about to explode and I don't know what to do or how to handle any of the things that are happening, I will get in my car and I will drive somewhere, sometimes very far away. And then I have wasted a lot of money in gas, which is probably not good since I was probably stressed in the exploding of the world feelings because of the lack of money. Anyway, I look forward to hearing all the things that you guys do to defeat the sads. I love you guys and I hope this turns out to be a better week for everyone. Bye. <sighs>